The drone is up. Bad guys in the area. Got another tango. He makes five. shooting these fuckers. Hostile kill. Frag out. Good. You all in one piece? We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can pay us back later. Open fire. Go, go.
have a PSYOP unit down here, don't you think? Or MISO or whatever they're called now. Shit, there might be one here already for all we know. Bowman plays her cards close to the chest. You don't think Bowman's got other operators on here? You think the activity is just a bunch of chair-borne rangers? They might not be throwing lead, but somebody else is out here. Open fire. Welcome. Is it really hard to make coca paste? Hard? No, not at all. Basically, you need a solvent, a hole in the ground, and two to five people who don't mind stomping in kerosene for five, six hours a day. Seriously? Well, that's one way to do it. You line a hole with heavy plastic, mix the coca leaves with your solvent, then stomp on the damn things like you were making wine in Bordeaux. The real sophisticated cooks use a more complex recipe. of chemicals and they treat the coca leaves for a few days. It gives you more paste per pound than the traditional process. That's where hombres like El Emisario come in. Because it gets more out of the coca leaves than most cooks. 
Let me put it to you this way. El Emisario turns out 10 fucking tons of coca paste per week. I don't care how many leaves he's getting. That's more coca paste than anybody. Dude isn't a cocaine cook. He's a fucking chef. Frag out. 